Hey, welcome back. Did you know there are a lot of people of Indian descent in Fiji? Well, today I wanted to explore the flavors of their unique cuisine through a chicken potato curry. It's super quick and easy and uses widely available ingredients. So follow along and let's make a delicious weeknight meal. Get a large pot or Dutch oven going over medium high heat and add in 60 milliliters or a quarter cup of oil. Once the oil is shimmering, that's where it loosens up a little bit and starts to coat the bottom of the pot. Go in with half a sliced onion. And my onions are about 10 centimeters in diameter, so adjust accordingly depending on the size of yours. Saute those until they're just starting to get a little bit of color on them. Then we can go in with three or four cloves of minced garlic. And 30 grams of minced ginger. And feel free to use garlic and ginger paste if you've got it. Stir those around until they're fragrant, and then we can go in with a teaspoon of garam masala. This is your standard Indian spice blend with tons of warming spices. It's pretty widely available in grocery stores these days, but you can make your own by mixing a few spices together. That way you have better control over the flavor. Next up, add in a teaspoon of dried turmeric, a teaspoon of dried cumin seed, and I really love the citrusy zing that it adds to dishes. And finally, some chili powder. I'm adding a couple teaspoons because I like the heat, but feel free to reduce this or leave it out entirely if you don't want to feel the burn. Mix those all in well and toast them for a minute. And then we'll add in a whole chicken that I've cut into bite-sized chunks. Be sure to remove the skin from the thighs and breasts so this doesn't get too fatty. But be sure to hold on to that because you can either render out some schmaltz or crisp it up in a pan for a tasty, sometimes treat. Mix the chicken in so it's coated in all those spices. Add in a couple pinches of salt. Then we'll reduce the heat to medium low, cover it up, and let it go for 10 to 15 minutes until the chicken is fully cooked. Notice I didn't add any water since a decent amount of juice is gonna come from the chicken. That said, I have seen some people add water at this point for a soupier curry, so you do you. And if you're liking this recipe so far and wanna see more of my international experiments, then hit that subscribe button because I'm doing this every week. After that time's up, go ahead and add in about 250 grams of peeled and chopped potatoes. For me, that was three of these little red guys. Mix those in, cover it up, and let that go for another 20 minutes until the potatoes are cooked through. And with that, we're ready to serve over white rice with a nice sprinkle of cilantro. And this could also do nicely with a squeeze of lime to balance things out. So there you go, that is a fast, easy, and delicious weeknight curry straight from the Isles of Fiji by way of India. It's got a ton of flavor from the garam masala, the cumin, and the turmeric, a nice bit of heat from the chili powder. And I know this is pretty divisive, but that cilantro gives a burst of freshness that really balances things out beautifully. So whether you're into that part or not, I hope you make this, take photos of it, share it on Instagram, tag me in it at Kevin all over the world, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.